All right, well shit, it's been so damn long since I made a video, I don't even know what to do. Um, but anyhow, this is pretty much the car after uh, after drift week. Um, I uh, lowered it a little bit, and then, you know, this front coilover's been blown for a little while, so it ended up, uh, I think, kind of squatting and, and, you know, grabbing the fender at the tire. And I need to cut some other crap out of there anyhow. But uh, anyhow, so the agenda today is... Uh, these guys right here, these are some uh, BC uh, type BR coilovers that I uh, picked up off eBay. Um, got them used, they're like, I got them for like 650 or something like that. Normally they're like 1000 or 1200 kind of depends on where you look. But normally about 1000 for new, they're 650 Supposedly I had like 1000 miles on them or something on the street. So eh, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Um, so I have the T and flexes on here right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and yank those off and uh put those guys on as you can tell i got to uh i got to jack up the front of the damn car to get the these giant things on you know because it's ancient lift it's heavy duty but it's ancient um so anyhow you know you gotta get all that crap under there which isn't too big of a deal but uh anyhow gotta do that and uh i also got this guy right here um this is a fast 92 millimeter. Um, picked it up off eBay as well. It was used. Um, normally they go for like a thousand or something like that, and I got this one for like 450. And then I had to buy the, you know, the different throttle body. This is just a eBay throttle body. It's like 90 bucks shipped or something, but it seems like it's pretty good quality. Um, another agenda. I got these. Uh, factory knuckles some extra s14 knuckles i'm going to go ahead and cut and weld um change up the ackerman i have actually a lot of uh ackerman on this and for those of you guys who, who don't know let's see if i could draw in the dust on the car so anyhow when your car's you know going sideways you're drifting that way the lead wheel is kind of going that way and then the follow wheel kind of goes like this because you know the diameter of a circle or whatever it's you know less angle on the outside tire or the trailing tire because it thinks you're turning but you're not you're drifting so anyhow i want to get it closer to zero ackerman where they're, they're both you know go in the same exact direction at the same angle um you know you have to left foot brake a little bit more which you know i'm decent at that so i think i'll i'll be okay but you're actually uh with less ackerman you're able to drift a little bit faster um all right, so here, here's driver's side, full lock. So that's the, the lead wheel, and then the, the trailing wheel doesn't have as much. Um, it has quite a bit, but not, not quite as much um, as, the, as the lead wheel does. Um, so anyhow, I'd kind of like to knock that down a little bit more, get a, you know, like I said, the, so the trailing wheel's like exactly how the, 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 fall, or the lead wheel is. But anyhow, I'm uh, I gotta run up to Carter Springs tomorrow at SiliconeIntakes.com. They're actually local, um, so I'm gonna run up there tomorrow and get a four inch to three inch adapter for that because that throttle body is like three, and then my little adapter thing is like like so. Anyhow, the throttle body on here right now is about three inches, and this new one's four. So I gotta get a new one of these, a little 90 of four to three, so that I could use all this bullshit that I have on there. So anyhow, that's uh, that's basically the drift car. Um, I'm gonna go this weekend, or just today. I don't know if I should tell you when it is, and you guys will bitch at me how long it takes me to upload a video. But uh, it is uh, July, August. It's August 6th, my grandpa's birthday. Anyhow, um, August 6th, it's uh, um, this weekend, Drift Colorado Point Series. Round three, I missed round two, is you know because of the trailer and all that bull crap. But uh, so anyhow, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, try to get this bastard ready for that. Um, you know it's Wednesday, so I'm good. The event's on Sunday, so I got a couple days. It's kind of odd to, for me to be working on it a couple days in advance. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that bullshit. The dots and it's under cover right now. Um, paint and shit but kind of doesn't look like any uh, any other thing but I'm gonna order a 
the Datsun 510 intercooler kit. And the radiator is going to sit up all crazy about right in here. And then the intercooler about right underneath that tape line right there, that dot. This is where the inlet and outlet will go. So I'll, I'll be able to pipe it up. So I'm going to get some stuff for that tomorrow and order that as well. Um, the charger that used to be in here, well, it's back in here now. It's uh, it's done from paint. So, like I said, I'm kind of renting some some shop space to to one of our our friends. Um, it's in college or whatever. But anyhow, this is a '72 uh, charger. He's pretty much putting it back to original. You know, doing a bunch of crap to it. It was originally a 440 car, so he's doing that, putting a 440 back into it and. Um, so he's gonna get this thing all done, but it's basically just kind of chilling in here for now on these stands. Um, he's piecing back together and trying to get the dots and going, trying to get this thing all at the same damn time. So, but uh, yeah. So anyhow, I'm uh, getting ready to put this uh, intake manifold on. I got the damn uh, silicone intake thing, so it's like the 4 inch to 3 inch, and then it just pops on there and shit. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, start smashing that thing on. Anyhow, so everybody say goodbye. Um, I got this this stupid light right here from Harbor Freight. It's pretty nice. It's got like the little hooks and magnets and shit on it, but works good for working on under hood shit. But but yeah, so yank this guy off as long as this little three inch PVC pipe that you know Home Depot intake fits on my my little thing. Everything should go smooth. I hope. So anyhow, here's my situation. Um, I guess when you uh, put a fast on an LS1 it's like an LS6 style intake but see that uh, coolant line right there right there it just won't let it do shit so it uh, pretty much just uh, just rig so I gotta gotta figure that out so I guess you have to get like LS6 style crap So you have to get like a LS6 style like valley cover and shit. So I don't know. And you got to get one of these and one of those and a thing that just goes from here to there. So like the LS6 one, it it just goes from from here to here, and then it has block off little plugs for the back ones. Um, so I guess I need to get that. I don't know. I really wanted to install this before this event, but I guess not. All right, so uh, so anyhow, this is kind of my solution to my uh, my fucked up problem. Anyhow, so you see these bolts right here? They're all long. I'm gonna I'm cutting them off. Um, you know, they barely got a little bit of a head on there to get them on there, but they don't need to be too tight anyhow. You know, they don't have a lot of stress on them. So anyhow, chopping the bolts off. Um, we got a set of knuckles I started working on like a month ago, and then this thing right here, it's. Uh, it's actually steel, um, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut that, and just so this piece sticks out of the front of the block, cut that, weld it, and then cut off these back things right there, and weld those shut anyhow, because that's exactly what the LS6 thing is, is basically just this front, and it's not connected underneath the intake manifold, it's just these plugs in the rear, so I'm just basically making my own crap. Um, see over here, you can see I already got one of the bolts. Be able to see it under there. Just get that out of the way. Anyhow, you can see that. Anyhow, I could slide a, I could slide a little piece of uh, cardboard underneath it, like uh, you know. So I think oh, this this cardboard right here, a little piece of that cardboard slides underneath it, and. Uh, so I think I think I should be good. I'm not gonna crack the intake manifold by tightening down, and I'm gonna save like 200 bucks from buying that other shit. 
So this is where I'm at right now. Um, you can see I cut and uh, and welded that. Um, there was like this like little union thing right there, and it had like this. I don't know what the hell it is like some brazing of some sort. But anyhow, it, it didn't like to be welded to, so I just went ahead and cut it and cut another piece and put it on here and tacked it together and welded it. But looks like it uh, looks like it's good. Back ones are all poopy. Don't want to show you those, but I uh, got uh, you know my low profile bolts. You know, so now, so now my uh, intake mount bolt should sit on there. And I ended up uh, gapping. Where'd that thing go? Where'd it go? The big, not this one, the old one. I stretched that bad boy on there, so I think we'll be good. What day is it, dude? Day before a drift event. What am I doing? Freaking goodies have arrived. <laughs> no, but I I just I don't know if I want to deal with that right now. What are you worried about your freaking brackets already on there? No, but this doesn't leak and it fucking works and I don't have to do anything. I can go home and go to bed. Huh? Oh yeah. Wait, I really like don't give a fuck about like a hydro e break. What? I just don't have to go to bed. <laughs> Well, I don't know. I don't know what I should do. Just do it. It's already off. Well, because then Derek's fucking shit's gonna be all torn apart. My shit's gonna be all fucking torn apart. It's gonna leak. It's not gonna work. I can't set the e-brake and fucking walk away from my car. Really, son? Unless you take the e-brake out. Okay, how am I gonna do that with something e-brake out? Oh. Tell me now. See you. <laughs> Derek's lug nuts were all finger tight. All of them. It's not too bad. You're wasting film, dude. I'm just gonna have to. I'm not. I'm not gonna use any of it. None of it. None of it, dude. <laughs> get some. Get Blake Eaton. You get act him like that fucking. Oh, get the burrito in his mouth. Do it again, dude. Are those Take Neo a bigger bite. Hey. I know you can. Are those Neogens? They are Neogens. What do you think about them? They're gay. Why? I don't know. I can't tell. I just drive. Do you like a better? Yeah. Jarek is alive. And he's alive and well. What did he say? He's texting back, dude. What did he say? He's texting back. He said, I can't talk right now. I'm in the trunk of someone's car. <laughs> no, so my dilemma is I uh, I could go drift tomorrow, just how it is. I just fucking get a little sandy pad on the brakes and you know load it up and fucking go drift. But instead, I'm gonna put a hydro on, cut weld some knuckles, do some other gay shit, and then I'm gonna be up all night. And then I'm gonna be able to sleep. And I don't want that. I want to be able to sleep. I've never been able to sleep before a drift event. And then traffic. There's going to be traffic up there tomorrow, and it, it's going to be frigged. The whole program. Blake doesn't help. He doesn't help me. Blake doesn't even help, dude. He doesn't care. No, no, no. No, no, no. All he cares about is his bike and his fucking fire chicken. Fucking slow ass. I don't have to work on it. Slow ass fire chicken, dude. It's not that slow. Like slow enough. Slow ass fire chicken. Jesse's fucking crippled. Ty's the only one who, who cares. And I'm I'm shutting him down. You just make videos. <laughs> pink dick, dude. Look at that pink dick. Look right into it. Oh, he's got it facing down. <laughs>